Simple Interest, Part 2. Hi, I'm Daniel Sousa and welcome to Aptitude Academy. This is Part 2 on the lecture on Simple Interest. Here's your first problem. Problem 1. At what rate percent per annum will a sum of money double in 16 years? For the first sum, they've asked you at what rate will in an amount of money, right, your principal amount will double after 16 years. Right? It should become 2 into principal. Right? So your new money is equal to old money plus SI. Now if you don't understand this equation, you need to go and watch part 1 of my video. Alright, now what they're saying is your new money, when you go to take it after 16 years, right, it should be equal to twice this uh, the old money itself. So now your new money is actually equal to two times your old money. Keep in mind, or your old money is the principal amount, what you gave in, and new money is what you get. Now, for this to be equal to twice the old money, this should also be the old money. So basically what they're saying is, after 16 years, what is the rate of interest you should have so that your simple interest after 16 years will be equal to your principal? Right? So basically, they're saying that if I put in 100 rupees, right, and after 16 years, I want double this, right? So 200 rupees. If I want 200 rupees after 16 years, 16 years, what should be my rate of interest? Okay? All right. Now, to approach this problem, it's just a simple trick with the formula itself. Now, we know that SI should be equal to the principal amount if you want it to double. Now, we also know SI is equal to what? PTR upon 100. Right? Principal, time and rate. And this is SI. But SI is equal to, in fact, P. So, P is equal to PTR upon 100. Right? P is your SI. That is the only way to double. Now, we know P, T, R we don't know. Now, we actually don't know P, but it doesn't matter because P and P will get cancelled here. So now you have, this is 1, right? So RT is equal to 100. So your rate will be equal to 100 by T. Now T is given as 16 years. So if you just do 100 by 16, 4 4s are, 4 25s are, 25 by 4 will be 6.25%. So after 16 years, if the rate of interest is 6.25%, then your money will double. Easy, right? Let's go into problem number two. Problem two. A sum was put at simple interest at a certain rate for three years. Had it been put at 2% higher rate, it would have fetched rupees 360 more. Find the sum. All right, now for your second sum, they've said this. Now, don't look at this part right now. They've said that you put your old money in a bank, right, your principal amount, and you put it for three years at some X percent rate of interest. So now, based on these two terms, you will get some simple interest. Right? And I'm just saying bank A. Just assume that you've put it in bank A. So you'll get a simple interest from bank A. That's why this is there. And based on that, old money plus SI, you will get your new money. Right? NMA. Now, what the problem is saying that, suppose you had put it in a different bank that gave you an interest that is 2% more than this interest. Right? So I've noted X plus 2% here. Right? Let's just call it bank B. So you've put your old money now in bank B. Right? For three years, same time same money you've put in, but the rate of interest here is 2% more. So because this rate of interest is more and it's different, this simple interest will be more than this, right? It's obvious. And I've just noted by SI of B because it's from bank B. So now your old money plus SIB will give you new money B. It's pretty obvious since the rate of interest is more, NMB will be more than NMA. In the problem, they've told you that NMB is more than NMA by 360 rupees. Right? Now, let's just solve it a little bit. NMB is what? OM plus SIB. Right? So, OM plus SI of B minus of what is NMA? OM plus SI of A is equal to 360. Right? Now, if you remove the bracket, it will be OM plus SI of B minus OM minus SI of A is equal to 360. Now, OM, OM is common because it's the same amount of money you put in different banks. So, OM, OM gets cancelled. So, you basically have 
S I of B, that simple interest you got from bank B at X plus 2% minus simple interest from bank A, that is the uh, simple interest you got from bank A at X percent is equal to 360 rupees. Right? Now, we just need to solve this equation. The equation got is SIB minus SIA is equal to 360. Now, what was different from both the banks? The money put in was same, that is the principal was the same, the time was same, 3 years, only the rate was different, right? For bank A it was X percent and for bank B it was X plus 2 percent. So now, this is for bank B. So what is SI equal to PTR divided by 100? But since it's bank B, the rate will be different. P and T was the same. Similarly, this will be PTR of A, 100, right? You can put the little brackets here. All right, this is equal to 360. Now, PT by 100, PT by 100 is common. You can take it outside. So taking PT by 100 common, we'll be left with RB minus RA, right? Rate of bank B minus rate of bank A is equal to 360. Now, we know that R of A was X percent. We've just given it something. And this is X plus 2 percent. Basically, this was 2 percent more than this. So if you write it down, it's P. Time also we know. Time was 3 years divided by 100 into what is B? Uh, rate of B was X plus 2 and rate of A was X, right? So minus X is equal to 360. Now, here plus X minus X gets cancelled. So you just have P into 3 into 2 divided by 100 is equal to 360. Now take everything on that side, keep P on the LHS. So P is equal to 360 into 100. Get it down. So 3 into 2. 2 1s are, 2 50s are, 3 1s are, 3 120s are. So this will give you 6,000 rupees. This is your principal amount. Problem 3. What is the present worth of Rs. 132 due in 2 years at 5% simple interest per annum? Alright, now problem 3, they've said that what is the present worth of Rs. 132 rupees due in 2 years at 5%? Now this is the part where most students go wrong. What does due in mean? Now due in means in the future, alright? So what is the present worth anyway? Present will always be your old money, right? Old money. And your future will always be the new money that you get. Right? See, you have past, present and future. Now, if you... The earlier one will always be old. It's but obvious. Right? So, what is the present worth if rupees 132 in the future you will get if that old money was kept for 2 years at 5%. Right? So, 132 is your new money. So, what is the present worth? So, what is the old money? What is the principal? That's what they're asking. So, now... We can write up the formula. Now, we know new money, that is 132, is equal to old money plus SI. Right? Okay. Now, what have they told us? We know new money is 132. What is the old money? Principal. What is SI? PTR upon 100. Right? Now, P and P is common. So, we'll just take P, 1 plus TR upon 100. Now, P is common. What is T? T we know is 2 years. So 1 plus 2 into what is rate? 5. So 5 divided by 100. So it's equal to P into 1 plus 10 by 100. This is still 132. So 10 ones are 10 tens are. Right? So it's P 1 plus 0.1. 1 by 10 is 0.1. Right? So this is 132. Now I'll just erase it a little bit. So we were at this step. 132 is equal to P into 1 plus 0.1. So it's equal to P into 1.1. Implies P is equal to 132 divided by 1.1. Now if you do this easily, you can move this point. You can add a 0 here. 11 ones are. This will be 120 implies your principal amount was equal to 120 rupees. Alright, so this is part 2 on lecture on simple interest. If you found this video helpful, do like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'd also like it if you tell your friends about this and help them out as well. Cheers! Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button to get notification of any videos that I release. I make new videos every Thursday. Until then, spread the knowledge.